So now let us solve this problem. Cos inverse p plus cos inverse q plus cos inverse r is equal to pi. Then prove that p square plus q square plus r square plus 2 pqr is equal to 1. This problem can be done in two ways. The first method is we can adopt that is transformations method. Second method is directly you can use here cos inverse p is equal to say a, this is b, this is c, a plus b is equal a plus b plus c is equal to 180, a plus b is equal to pi minus c, applying cos function on both sides, cos of a plus b is equal to cos 180 minus c, cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b equals to minus cos c. Here respective cos a, cos b and cos c values in terms of p, q, r will be written and after prior simplification we get the p square plus q square plus r square plus 2 p q r is equal to 1. So that means the two kind of strategies may be followed but let us follow the last method what we have discussed. So now let us solve this problem. Let us say cos inverse p equals to a cos a equals to p cos inverse q b the cos b equals to small q cos inverse r equals to c cos c equals to r now this becomes a plus b plus c is equal to pi a plus b equals to we can write pi minus c am i correct apply cosine function on both sides so let us apply the cosine function on both sides we get cos of a plus b equals to cos of pi minus c now cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b equals to cos 180 minus c that is cos of 180 minus theta formula. See the cos of 180 minus theta equals to minus cos theta. It is very very important result. So we can write minus cos c. So let us replace respective values. Already we know cos a is equal to p cos b q so cos c r but sin a sin b as we know the cos a value sin a also we can write here see that can be written like this see sin a is equal to root of 1 minus cos square a so that is nothing but root of 1 minus p square in terms of p you can express sin a even in the similar pattern sin b is equal to root of 1 minus cos square b here we can write root of 1 minus q square let us replace respective values of sin a sin b cos a cos b and cos c values so we get p q minus root of 1 minus p square into root of 1 minus q square equal to minus r transpose minus r this side and this value right hand side we get p q plus r is equal to root of 1 minus p square into root of 1 minus q square so in order to simplify further it had better to square on both sides that means squaring on both sides squaring on both sides so now it becomes like this pq plus r whole square 
equals to root of 1 minus p square into root of 1 minus q square whole square. See p q plus r whole square is mere in the form of a plus b whole square. So, that directly we can write this is p square q square plus 2 p q r plus r square a square plus 2 a b plus b square form. So, this can be written like this 1 minus p square multiplied by 1 minus q square. Simplification 1 minus q square minus p square plus p square q square is very interesting here. So, p square q square p square q square will be gets cancelled. Now, do one thing. So, now bring minus p square minus q square this side. Now, it can be written like this now. See, this can be written p square therefore plus q square plus r square plus r square plus 2 p q r equals to 1. Hence, it is fraud. So, if you wish, you can try other methods also. You can adopt other methods. Prove that cos of tan inverse of sin of cot inverse x is equal to root over x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. This is actually the more complexity problem. So, that means if you say the cot inverse x is equal to something a, this will be sin a. Sin a in terms of x we have to find out. Next, the sin a value after getting in terms of x value that should be changed in terms of tan because tan inverse of tan theta gives us theta. So, that is cos theta. We need to find out cos theta that will be the value will be root of x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. So, that means this, this must be done actually here now simple to complex the easy to hard method we have to follow. That means step by step ladder process we have to follow here. So, now first you say like this let us assume the cot inverse x is equal to a cot a equals to x. Now <coughs> this is sin that means sin of cot inverse x that is nothing but sin a. As we know the sin a, the sin a we have to express in terms of Cartier function Other, otherwise you take the triangle here. The triangle better you say this is a. Cot a is equal to this will be the x, this will be 1, this will be root of x square plus 1. Am I correct? Sin a is equal to this will be 1 by root of x square plus 1. Now, we know this sin of cot inverse x value. So, that means now this becomes like this. You take this include this one also. Tan inverse sin of cot inverse x. So, this we can write tan inverse of 1 by root of x square plus 1. Here again let us say this tan inverse of 1 by root of x square plus 1 equals to b some other angle. So, tan b equals to 1 by root of x square plus 1. Now, let us come to the left hand side. Here left hand side is cos of tan inverse of sin of cot inverse x. Am I correct? So, that means this 
tan inverse me this nothing but this will be we need to find out this value now so tan inverse of this when value equal to b so that means this becomes cos b now with the help of this tan b we have to evaluate cos b now take another right angle triangle say this is b here 1 this will be root of x square plus 1 we need to find out this hypotenuse that is 1 plus x square plus 1 x square plus 2 so this becomes square root of x square plus 2 here what we have to find out in this case cos b so cos b is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse that is root of x square plus 1 by root of x square plus 2 so we have one formula root a by root b this can be written root over a by b so using this can be written root over x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 this is RHS hence it is fraud.